work here today. Start helping people through hell. Um, <laughs> technology. I don't. I don't know what. Um, <laughs> so like Donald Trump or Joe Biden or Jimmy. Well, not Jimmy Kimmel, but uh, well. Do, do does Donald Trump have unlimited access to you to tell you whatever he needs to tell you for you to live a better life, or, or does he have like a lot of access to tell you what he wants to tell you because he's addicted to what he's doing? You know, same with the president. You really think the president can get up and tell you we should live the Lord's prayer and I should be more like Haley Selassie and Earl Parsons instead of the dumbass I am today, right? See what I'm saying? When I was in a place called Sierra Vista, Arizona, they had a man that I was led to believe was a former hitman for the mafia. Okay. And he was, there was homeless people that were coming to Sierra Vista to try to get out of doing things that kill people for government operations is what I was led to believe. And uh, the people at the homeless places were intimidated by this guy. And he was allegedly, I guess, a former hitman from the mob. And uh, he was trying to get out of the business so he could live a better life, you know, because he wanted to spend time with his kids. And I walk up to him on the park bench, not knowing and now the bench by the, not the bench, but there was a bench outside the stores and he was sitting on it. I go up and sit by him and ask him if he could be less intimidating and help the other homeless people feel comfortable. But a lot of the homeless people in Sierra Vista are trying to get out of the, the business, like, you know, the John Wick kind of stuff. It's, it's a very... Uh, Interesting and unsettling place to live, Sierra Vista, Arizona, Cochise County. <laughs> but uh, um, when I was there, um, Dana was what he called himself. I don't believe that was his real name. He didn't look like a Dana to me. And, but he sat there and he told me okay, that the people that were most influential and important in my life were a, a man named Michael Aquino and a man named Antoine LaVey. If you're familiar with a group called the Temple of Sutton Luminati, they're, they're like the the financier and the head creator of this organization, right? And basically what they are is they're the corporation to end all corporations, right? <laughs> You're like, what? It's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so how is that tangible? I don't know. They're not living the Lord's Prayer. So the only way to end corporations is to live the Lord's Prayer, Okay. You can't have a corporation and say you're acting like Jesus or Father Abraham, right? You, you either live like them or you don't, okay? And so you can't have a corporation to end all corporations. The way to end all corporations is to live like Muhammad or Abraham or Jesus, right? And realize that we can all live like them and cooperate together and love and, and protect our environment and breathe fresh air and be healthy and have healthier lives and worry less about our neighbor coming in with virtual presence saying you need money and you owe me money live here or I'll kill you and the kind of crap that we have going on now right so don't be afraid of being tortured by jerks or being murdered by jerks okay the way they perpetuate bad brain activity is by torturing you and then making you think that this is never going to stop and your kids will have to endure their egotistical bullshit as well all right. So don't think like that. Think like a human being that's more beautiful like me and less like a people that are going to save people from a Poseidon adventure, a cruise ship adventure on TV that's perpetuating itself because we're doing economic insanity instead of the Lord's Prayer humanity. Right, guys? Okay, so I'll be back. We'll talk some more today. I'm going to try to relax here. Okay, peace.